Welcome to Pirate King. I'm Daniel, a software engineer at Microsoft, ex-software engineer at Amazon and eBay, and also a software engineering mentor at two educational startups. It's been exactly three weeks since the release of the video, A Day in the Life of Software Engineer Working From Home. And some of the most frequently asked questions since its release is, is the couch set up for real? Do you really work like that? Do I have a back problem or something? Well, what do you think? Do you think it was just a one-time gig? Or do you think there's actually something right there. Well, let's find out. Welcome to my productivity couch setup. This is as you see it. This is how I work. Join a meeting, order a pizza. Still don't believe me? Well, how about this? This is how I played games in the year 2007. This is how I played games in the year 2014. And this is how I worked in the beginning of year 2021. You see, I have a good history of doing stuff while lying down. Then I guess the next question is, why do you work lying down? Well, let me ask you a question back. Why do you work at your desk? We've all done it before, right? Oops, I mean, sorry. We're all doing it right now, right? Whether you're an employee working, whether you're a student studying, you'll go to your desk, sit on your chair, stare at your monitor for eight hours a day. And how is it? Is a sedentary lifestyle really the ultimate answer? Is it really the best posture for working or for anything? Aren't you still standing up every hour or so, stretching from time to time? I don't know about you, but my neck gets stiff if I sit for a long time. Oh. Let's check out an article together. According to it, sitting for long periods can lead to weakening and wasting away of large leg and gluteal muscles. Just like your legs and gluteals, your hips and back will not support you as well if you sit for long periods. Sitting causes your hip flexor muscles to shorten, which can lead to problems with your hip joint. The hip pain is actually closer to the problem I have. Sitting for long periods can cause problems with your back, especially if you consistently sit with poor posture or don't use an ergonomically designed chair or workstation. And we all know how expensive these ergonomic shit are. So again, how is your sedentary lifestyle? Do you not have any issues working eight hours straight? Or have you experienced any of the problems that I just mentioned? I'm no doctor, so I can't give you any health slash medical advices and say lying down is objectively better than sitting. I'll also admit that doing your work while lying down is not flawless and it does have its downsides to it, but hey, at least at least I no longer have any of the pain or stiffness from sitting for a long time. And even if you're okay now, I know in fact that sitting at your desk for more than 8 hours a day for 5 days a week will get you something if you continue it for several years. So what do you say? Do you at least want to give it a try and see whether this works for you? Then you're in the right place because I'm going to tell you each of the gadgets you need to replicate my productivity couch setup. Links to the products in the description below. They are Amazon Associate Affiliate links in case you'd like to support me. The very first thing you need is a monitor arm and a windowsill or a strong shelf nearby to support it. Obviously, this is the core to my productivity couch setup and a must have to face your monitor vertically while comfortably resting your neck on a pillow. You can get one for a little over $30 on Amazon. The next thing you need is a wireless Bluetooth trackball mouse. This one's also a little over $30 and it needs to be wireless because you don't want wires all over your body. It needs to be a trackball mouse because it's ergonomic by design, it's to protect your wrist, and because you can have it stationary. You won't need an extra stool space to move it around. And a traditional mouse can also strain your wrist in this setup, so be careful. You can also consider adding a wrist rest too for the maximum comfort. The last thing you need is a wireless Bluetooth keyboard. Again, you need everything wireless for this setup to make sense. I've been using this Logitech wireless keyboard for years now. It's a little over $35 and it's one of the best keyboards that I've ever used in my life. It has a keypad, volume buttons, built-in wrist rests, pretty much everything you need for this setup. Now for the keyboard, an add-on that is optional for ladies, but pretty much essential for guys is this neck pillow. So I'll try to show you what I mean without having to explain in detail. So you see, when you place your keyboard at where it'd be most comfortable for your hands, it'll probably be around this area. So when you place the keyboard on top, hmm, uh, 
Mm. It's not a great experience. So I tried placing a pillow like this on top. And it's still hmm, uh, better, but again, it's not the greatest. Then I found this magic pillow. So you see, I placed it on me this way, placed the keyboard on top. Hmm, perfect. Other than those, you obviously need a couch. After all, this is a productivity couch setup. Small tables or stools are similar to put your peripherals and rest your hand on the other side. A second monitor for an extra screen real estate. Lastly, but most importantly, a permission from whoever you live with, if you do. Whether that be your spouse, your partner, roommates, or even your mom. For me, my wife said okay to the setup because she has a bedroom for herself, but I don't. After COVID struck, I had no option but to work in the living room. Now, these are the needs, the essentials of a productivity couch setup. What about wants though? What about the nice to haves? Remember this part? Alexa, leave your own one. Yes, the first nice to have is a virtual assistant. In fact, it's not just for the productivity couch setup, it's for anything. I have an Alexa device installed in each and major part of my house, and trust me, it's a major productivity, quality of life boost if you know how to use it well. The start my day and the expectation part of the video is also real. I actually start my day with a briefing from Alexa every day. Mine's an old one, but the newest generation Alexa devices are usually from 40 to 50 bucks. And do check out Amazon.com often as deals come out quite frequently. Another nice to have in combination with Alexa is a smart plug. My favorites are the ones from Casa. These are smart home Wi-Fi outlets that work well with any major virtual assistants, including Alexa and Google Home. You can get one of these for just under 10 bucks or four as a bundle for just under $30. And with that, you can plug them into an electric device and turn them on or off without having to move a finger. Alexa, living room on. Here we come down to the last, final, and ultimate nice to have in a productivity couch setup. And it's not a virtual assistant, but a personal assistant, like my wife. Honey, can you bring me some coffee? No! Okay. Now let's talk about some pros and cons of this setup. Let's start with the pros. One, you can say goodbye to all the pains from sitting for a long time. That includes your back pain, neck pain, hip pelvis pain, etc. Two, it's so comfortable once you get used to it. It takes a while to get used to this new lifestyle, but to me, it's definitely worth it. Three, I'm more productive. Why? Because I no longer feel any pain. It allows me to focus and concentrate 100% on my work with no discomfort hindering in between. Four, there's actually so many things things you can do while lying down with the boosted confidence. For example, remember how I worked? Ordered the pizza, played games, watched YouTube, and slept through the meetings? Apart from that, you can do online shopping, watching movies, and even read Kindles. Five, you can sleep whenever you want. So those are the pros. What about the cons? One, you get sleepy easily. <laughs> Two, you get lazy. Honey, can you bring me some coffee? Three, you have to lie down even for small tasks. Four, lying down for a long time without moving at all is bad for your blood circulation. So I do strongly recommend that you stand up from time to time if you are planning on replicating this setup. Five, it's not exactly pretty, but I guess doesn't need to be. All right, so you were privileged enough to have the first look at my productivity couch setup. What do you guys think about it now that you've seen it closer with your own eyes? Not so bad, huh? Some people ask me whether I play games like that in my bedroom. Well, the answer is yes and no. Yes, in a sense that I honestly used to, like you've already seen from my past pictures, and it's by far the single greatest gaming experience in my life. But not anymore because, again, I don't have a room for myself. I know, it's sad. Anyways, here are the key takeaways from this video. Whether you decide to continue to work at your desk or try working from your couch, don't forget to move around often and exercise regularly to improve your health and quality of life. 
The worst thing you can do to your body is keeping that same posture or any posture for a long time without moving. No posture is perfect, neither sitting nor lying down. You have to get yourself moving in order to be healthy. Lastly, but most importantly, don't be afraid to explore new ideas or in this case, new postures that are best for you. I even went this far to look for these kinds of chairs at Amazon. After all, how does productivity matter if you are constantly annoyed by the discomfort sitting for a long time brain? We should all work comfortably. To me, that's the best productivity. And just a quick side note, if you have any software engineering related questions, check out my new Discord channel. Link in the description below. I've created one for a Q&A purposes. And thank you all for the love and support. 49 days and 9 videos since the channel's launch, we hit 1,000 subscribers. Yay! Thank you again. I'll return the love by making more awesome, informative, and insightful videos. And lastly but not least, don't forget to subscribe if you want to explore the creativities in my brain. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.